YouTube, how the fuck you doing, hey guys? Nate Shot. Today, I'm bringing a brand new video. We are hopping into a brand new episode of Optic Craft Factions. Welcome I have back to Optic, man. Alongside with me, the chicken head still gets me every single okay. time. Oh, bro, the sound effects, <laughs> bro. The thing, like the little things that you can do in Minecraft, like just like the head swivel. Would you believe just... that I made that sound effect myself? I trust. Uh, trust me, I didn't edit it in no. later. It was something I really wasn't sure, but now that you revealed your secrets, bro, you'll never be able to hide anything. Nate, from we you. need to uh, we need to bring some people <laughs> up to speed on something beyond hilarious no. that happened. Like <laughs> you guys are not even gonna believe us when you see this. There's so, a reason we're up in the sugarcane farm. Nate, take it away, man. <laughs> uh, basically, I logged on today. I came on, so when we're offline, I come on and I I, I harvest the sugarcane so yeah, that we can so that we can just keep our money up and let the sugarcane regrow and just let it let it do what it's here for your um, skype messages man <laughs> yeah it was a problem so what happened was i spawned in the roman hub spawn normally i would spawn at home which i thought was a little odd i didn't think too much of it so i was like okay i took a little break came back and i i forward slash home and it said you cannot do that okay because a neutral <laughs> faction has already claimed that land so as soon as that happened, bro, I lost my man. I, I was like, what is going on? This fool freaked out, like, immediately. And he got me freaked out, too. I was leaving the house. I get these messages, and I'm like, oh, damn, oh, damn, oh, damn. I, don't, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, so I started freaking out. And then all of a sudden, I got teleported to our home. And, and you, Pete, why don't, you, why don't you take the lead? Why don't you show him? So, What's going on down there? So I've been, uh, Nate, I think we've got a couple more living bodies in our home now. Uh, I don't know if oh, we made this you guys clear, have, but... No, I, just be ready for what you guys So are there's name tags. Out. I want you guys to just take a look, okay? Just, just take a look here. We got some signs. We got some new buildings. I didn't make this. We got okay. some people working up so right now. Please, Ally, we want to work with you guys. <laughs> Give us a shout out. So DJ Fluffy and Panda Biot. The two, <laughs> I love the you two guys main just guys right one. here. So, I told Pete about this like an hour ago, and we both had to take a break. I went to go eat. I had to make a Call of Duty video, and then we were going to get online and record this. And I was like, wait, so Pete, like, what do we do? I mean, they didn't take our stuff. That We're was the thing. Yet. It's like, our base, we didn't claim it for the main reason that we didn't have protection. We didn't have fortification. If anything, it would have made us getting raided a lot easier like more obvious it would have happened a lot sooner these guys had full rights to just come in here and just break and steal everything but they didn't so that's why we're not necessarily too so, mad about it because like they've just been working here dude yeah, like so i been log on to yeah, play yeah. i log on to play with pete and i'm like yo so 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 like what should we do should we like ask him to leave <laughs> and, and Pete's like, well, they could have just taken all of our stuff and just ran. And I'm like, that's very true. Yeah. yeah. And they said, because I don't think they're going home. <laughs> like, what are they doing? Like, like, what are they doing? Dude, come in here. Like, this guy's got freaking like, he's got two-story condo bro. situation. Nate, hey, look at me, man. I got square footage <laughs> up the butt right now, dude. Like, come they're on. They're, like, legitimately moving in, bro. Like, there was no option. I even told these guys. I'm like, do you have anywhere else? And they're like, no, this is our only home. What are yeah, you talking so, about? Yeah, so where are you guys <laughs> going? And they just respond like, Yo, dude, there's eat? a fifth guy in here. He's going to raid us. Uh, oh, my God. Well, what do you mean? This is our home. And we're like, oh. I feel like this is like a TV sitcom or a movie, like, in the making. It's like... When your long lost brother just like moves in your house and you're just so confused. As and to you're what's like, happening. uh, who are you? Are you staying? Don't stay. I don't want to feed you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bro. I, I, like, this is so impressive already. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. The thing this about Nate and I is like, we're currently in the process of like figuring out people to ally, figuring out people to, uh, you know, recruit to our physical faction. But right now, <laughs> we're thinking that we're going to go ahead and ally these guys to help us because they want to help us. You know what I mean? They don't want to take our stuff later, but. Yeah, so I, you know what? <laughs> Breaking actually, through our roof, dude, savage. Pete, I'm really sorry. I actually kind of jumped the gun on that. When I initially logged in, I was kind of freaking out because I didn't know what they could do and I didn't want them to kill me. So I sent them an ally. So we're already allied up with them. And that's fine. That's fine. Because I'd rather okay. do that than get killed because these guys look like they know what they're doing, at least yeah. enough to take us over. They Yeah, and they renamed their faction. When I allied with them, they were called like Fluffy Forever. Right, That's what yeah. their name was, and now they're the Hot the Crap Bros. I, I looked at that faction <laughs> name, I'm like, okay, that could not have oh, been Oh, what there legends? From the See, it's, bro, what really blows my mind, Pete, and what I really can't fathom or figure out in my own mind is how could you have possibly found where we live? Now, I know, like, when we first 
started the the base and we started building our home that we were above ground and we showed like the environment and the biome that, that we were in. That didn't actually do anything though. You yeah, think you would have. You guys don't understand like <clears throat> this world is so many thousands of blocks big in 20K every- 20k by 20k. 20, That's 20k huge. by 20k. The possibility of somebody finding us in like what bro? You what? It was probably about 100 blocks. In it every was direction. mad. So it's funny like, too, I actually talked to these guys as well, because I was curious, I'm like, how did you guys find this? Because I'm like, well, it could have been something as simple as x-ray, right? But uh, they, they said they were just doing F wild a bunch of times, digging straight down and trying to find spawners. Whether or not I believe that, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty probable thing. They said they just F wild, dug down, and then found this, and they were like, oh, well... Uh, let's get to work. <laughs> do, do you think Do you think X-ray is a possibility? Because I didn't even think about that. I, I think always... uh, X-ray is always definitely a possibility, but I wouldn't say that these guys necessarily did it. Because I mean, there's always a possibility of them being truthful. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't assume yeah. that someone would try and do that. Because like we find out, you know, the butt the butt's getting beaten. You know what I mean? Okay, so let me ask you this now. What's um, up? so obviously we have some 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 roommates now we got some roommates yeah yeah we gotta pay rent what we could we could give them a little we could charge them rent and be like listen you guys can stay here i want you guys to unclaim our land and you can stay here but you gotta pay us some diamonds every single day <laughs> like you a know or, 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 or break man. your freaking neck you you freaking hooligans i uh, know here's the thing too is that you have to remember we're gonna probably plan on moving soon like, we yeah. need to, once we get it, faction members actually added in, we are going to fortify up to, like, you know, a proper claimed of city and wall-protected base, which is going to happen very soon, actually. We've been trying to get some faction members before this episode happened, but this happened, like, so soon we were like, okay, no, we got to start filming, like, right now, so... Yeah, dude, on top this of isn't all a that, bro, spot. today's a pretty crazy day for Optocraft. It really is, because we have pushed a lot of different updates. So, like, we got online to really test out all the new stuff, mm -hmm. And we're going to give you guys a rundown of everything that's really accessible to you on Optocraft now. And, and we just ran into this. We were like, bro, we got to show everybody this. This is just yeah, too for funny. Sure. I was literally crying laughing when I came in. I, I wish we were recording at the time. And I was like, Pete, what, what, what should we do? He's like, well, I don't think they're going to leave. They're like building homes. Like they were just already... laughing so hard. He's it's like, just, are you serious? It's so badass, bro. Like they got the wall of furnace. They, they've got like the mossy stone brick. But yeah. Um, so let's talk about the features, new things that have been added. And Pete, I'm going to let you kind of take it away on this okay, one. Let me because... go ahead and grab the mic for this. So today <laughs> is actually an amazing day. As you guys have been know, Nate and I have been working directly with the development team and stuff like that to help promote, uh, not promote, but help, uh, what's it called? Benefit the server, help really increase the, uh, everything about it. <laughs> I don't know where even know where my words are going right now, man. But basically we pushed out today our first major update with the server and what this includes. Now, why don't you go ahead and show them the folks do slash a H for me so we okay. added in an auction house here which is an idea we had pretty much from the start now in here you guys know about auction house it's pretty much the same basic thing it's like a way to it's like ebay basically so you got here spider spawns for 18,000 uh 20,000 zombies for 35,000 you can list up your things to sell in the auction house and people can just buy it straight from there which is amazing when it comes to like buying stuff from demand nate and i are going like to be able this. to especially i like this a lot bro. we what weren't you, able to snipe anything quick. out of the other auction which still how, exists, by the way. How much do diamonds sell for on the shop? Because there 300 are... 300 each. 300 each. 16 diamond blocks. For $20,000. 2,700 20, 20, times... I don't six. think that's worth it, actually. I, I think it might be, like, a little bit less, but I'm not sure it's actually... Wait, hold on. Let me do the math here. Really, $300 times 9 right, yeah. equals 2,700. 2, and then we would need times 16, right? Right, right. 2700 times 16 is 43,000, bro. That's right. a deal right there. I mean, like, we don't necessarily need diamonds right now. You got to think, why are they putting it up for 20,000 if, you know, that's the situation? Because right now, if you take a look in the chest, dude, we've got a ton of diamond armor. Uh, actually, no, they, they, they took all the diamond armor and moved it into I the bought the chest. diamonds. You bought the you bought them? I bought the diamonds. Dude, <laughs> savagery. How many freaking diamonds do you have right now on you, dude? Or how oh, much bro, money? We got, we got, we got a bank, homie. We got two. Oh, bro, we got 
so many diamonds, bro. <laughs> That's amazing. So, dude, let me go ahead and just take the mic back over for one quick second here. The other main side of the update. Now, obviously, we're going to be pushing out updates very regularly. But this is, like, our main major one. We added an auction house, which was a huge thing, which you guys can check out for everyone if you jump on the server. But what we also did was we actually gave a bonus perk to donor ranks. That's going to basically make donating a hell of a lot more awesome. So think about it like this. The top two ranks actually have slash fly, but only in their own actual uh, faction territory. You can't fly anywhere else, but this actually gives you the ability to fly in your faction. We got other stuff like PVs available now. We got P time, withdraw. There's actually slash trading as well, dude. If you're one of the higher ranks, you can do slash trade with other people so you can avoid getting scammed. So it's actually pretty freaking awesome, dude. That it's it's actually I'm excited, dude. I need to learn how to use all the new features first. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. We got a lot of new updates coming, and this update is fully posted on our forums. You can check down in the link in the description. I'm sure Nate'll plug it in as well. Click I on the will. forum you, link, you see exactly see what we've added in, and uh, it's pretty freaking awesome, dude. So apart from that, uh, what are we gonna do this episode, man? I mean, we gotta figure out what we're doing with our little uh, our roommates over here, man. Okay, so I think a really important thing for us to do right now. I'm actually in the shop. Uh, I'm not okay. I want to buy an Ender chest. Uh, because I took out all of our diamond gear from all of our chests just in case those guys go rogue. I doubt they would. They seem like very nice people, but I feel like, you know, we should protect our investment. And I'm actually putting, yeah, I've already got some diamond ore and the diamonds inside of our ender chest. We actually have an ender chest, uh, right in our spawn. They actually moved one in here. So you can just uh, set it up right in there. Remember that for uh, regular donors or regular members, the ender chest is nine slots. So you got to be very selective with what you keep safe. Okay, okay, so let me come back home then because yeah, for I, sure. I, I was trying to buy one. I'm going to uh, keep my chicken head in there. That's you know, I, I, I don't know if it was the best idea for me to buy what I just bought, but I, I was feeling it, bro. I was like, listen, I'm going to use this auction house to the best of my ability right now. What's your balance at right now, man? Uh, You know, I have to check. Probably not that that high. I mean, I'm still Wait. sitting on a clean 84,000. So. Okay, so after spending $20,000, I still have six 6,000. So That's not, not bad. Not too bad. And, and especially since these guys really haven't taken over our home, we can still use the sugarcane farm. Right. Um, but if we if we end up deciding to move, because we, we do have to do that. Guys, we're very serious. Within the next episode or two, we are going to be adding in some faction members for the first time ever, which is a pretty big deal for us. Like, we uh, finally started looking for it, you know what I mean? It's like, we've yeah, been talking about it a lot, but now we finally exactly. took initiative. We've been, we've been mulling it over. We're like, okay, man, we need to find some people we can trust, uh, some people we get along with, some people that can maybe appear in an episode from time to time if we need them to. Yeah, no, team speak, dude. Like, actually adding them into the faction, having them, like, like, record with us, you know? It, Being an active it, exactly. member of the videos. So, so we've been, you know, we've been going through a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions. We've been asking our community manager, like, you know, who's got a good reputation on the server? Who can we trust? So stuff like that. Um, but I, I feel like, Pete, if anything... You know, this episode might want to scout new location. I, I, I don't know. There's a few things we can do. We can do you some know. scouting new locations. We could also help create that uh, daily challenge from last. You remember last episode where uh, I got absolutely wrecked when it came to potions, right? Yeah. We could get started on brewery because if you look at the daily challenge, we have six hours left to complete it. It actually is kill five people. The daily okay. challenge. So. We could try going back out in the wilderness and giving that another shot to try Bro, and get I'm, those kills. I'm so down. That is so much fun A little bit me. of redemption. But what we might need to do is actually brew them some potions before we do. Because, like, I'm just saying this right now. Stuff like speed potions, those are, like, those are vital. Vital for survival and this kind of thing. So, I think what we should do... I'm going to go ahead and warp over to shop. Because we got some brewery stuff over there. I say we get working on getting our alchemy levels up. Get some potions to at least survive today. And then we'll do a lot off camera to get working on that. Because when you got large factions chasing you down, like uh, Empire Man, you get wrecked. Like, there's no chance for you yeah, to escape. Nah, listen, man. I hear you, bro. I really do. Right, like, yeah. We're going to have to be really careful. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I'm not the most patient guy in the world here. So, it, unless you need anything from me from the brewing stand... I might just go, like, scout out spawn, see if I can get anybody to follow me. And if I can get them to follow me, bro, I'm just going to take them in the wilderness and really give them the people's elbow from the top <laughs> turn <bucket. laughs> For sure, man. I'm already picking up some brewing stands right now. Uh, blaze rods are going to be essential as well for uh, strength pots. We could also do regen pots too. Mainly health is going to be our main one. So glistering melons are going to be a huge thing. And gunpowder we could also set up. We got glowstone dust we could set up. I spent a lot of money just getting some 
basic potion elements right now. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and go back home. Ooh, I actually need to get some glass or some bottles. I would love too. to ask these guys. Is there a way to just talk specifically to our allies? Yes. Uh, if you do slash F space C space ally, uh, F chat, and then it'll show up the actual um, like options. And, and, there. Then, you can talk and then I just global. type my message or no? Yeah, you just type your message. Uh, it'll F appear in purple so you can communicate directly with them. Forward slash space or forward slash F space C space ally. Yeah, exactly. And if you do s just do F space C, it'll show you all of the different... Um, channels that you can switch to so public would be the um the overall you know what i mean okay awesome harvesting uh you good you good us yeah i'm just typing up a message right now all right yeah i'm already getting the brewing stuff going on right now i think these guys are probably going to catch on and be like "Ooh, they're brewing fascinating yeah, <laughs> stuff like no. that you know all right, let me just dump a bunch of stuff down right here. They don't... Uh, I had, like, a little uh, disposal thing I used, but they don't have it anymore. All right, oh, so I'm going to go crap. ahead and fill up our bottles, get some working up. Do you want some potions, too? Like, I imagine you would. Yeah, I screwed up. What'd your, you do, man? Your chat mode has been updated. Faction. I, I did it wrong, I think. Slash F. Okay, I got it. C. Yeah, I, I thought I typed my message after... I'm an idiot. I screwed up. All right, Sorry, man, guys. You know Still new to factions. I do stupid stuff. Please don't punch me in the head. It's completely uh, fine. Yeah, I'll do it myself. So you know what, man? I think what we're going to go ahead and do then, what would be best, is while I'm getting these potions brewed up, let's go ahead and take a small little cut, and uh, we'll come back once you and I have got like some good PvP rocking, and or some good gear, rather, and then we'll come back, and uh, we're going to get those five kills going. And then I think, depending on how fast we can get those five kills, we may want to go scouting for a new location uh, quickly before this episode uh, finishes. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, for sure. I'm with that, man. I, I, I'm following you 100%. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and catch you guys back in just a short little bit. All right, so Nate and I took a little bit of a break. We enchanted our gear up a little bit. I actually got really, really lucky with enchants. Nate's kind of already had his good old stuff on him, and I brewed you up a few potions. You want to go ahead awesome. and take... Awesome, thank you, There's man. some yeah. health potions in there, and I drop you down some speed twos. You should have about six of these. Uh, these okay. will help you get away fast. Uh, okay. I would say one thing. Do you have any ender pearls on you? I have uh, about... Uh, 28 ender pearls, so I'm good on that. Did you do me a favor and split me half of those? Because we're going to yes, need to definitely no, have those of, if we want no, to escape. Of course, of course. Here you go. Uh, you know, I actually got pretty lucky. I, I went and looked at my gear because we were trying to uh, put some stuff together, and I think I picked up a really, really good chest plate uh, in the last battle that we had. Uh, I, protection for Unbreaking 3 and Thorns 2 is just fantastic. So, yeah. like, I, I was mad hyped about that when I saw it. I still, do you have any golden apples? Uh, I've got six golden apples. I'm actually okay. going to go and grab here, a few no, no, I, here, here, here. You got me? You got me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, so the I, thing about Opticraft half. right now, uh, with the way PvP goes, health potions, it's kind of like pop PvP right now. We're going to be adding in uh, custom enchants into the future. You know, not one's too OP, but for right now, potions are a huge metagame when it comes to winning fights. We don't have a lot of potions. We only got six. So really, like, if you're trying to go up against a pure 1v1 with a really high tier guy, you want, like, a full inventory of health pots. But uh, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and uh, warp to spawn. I guess just go... Are you warp to spawn too? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get some people to follow me. Uh, that's same like thing, my goal thing. right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna if go I can ahead get them and go to come in the war you. zone. Uh, it'd be well, not this guy. I don't, I don't want. I don't want no drama with anybody that's uh, got diamond gear on because I just don't know. It's not opinion. always the worst thing. I fought a couple diamond gear guys as well. Like okay. you know, right now we're going for the cheap kills. There are some people you know that like we got potions. You know what I mean? The thing we have to be very careful of though is once we get um what is it like once we get our first kill or something like that, we're gonna have like people in the chat know that we're fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we got to, like, be very cautious about that because last time this happened, uh, Empire, the largest faction on the server, came over and uh, wrecked me as soon as they saw that I was around. They just straight targeted me and just took my head off and were like, Pete, welcome to factions. And I'm like, <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, a, I'm over here scheming, bro. I have a group of diamonds around me and I just messaged one of them. I was like, yo, you want to team up on these guys with me? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I mean, he's got the best gear. It's enchanted. So I was yo, just Nate, like, I'm down with you. Hey, what's up? Turn what's, around. What's up? What's you doing? Are you? Oh my God, you're down there. You went <laughs> yeah. down, bro. Yeah. You're reckless. Yeah, no, okay. I went down. I'm waiting for people, man. Uh, all right, he said sure. All right, let's see if we can get these There's guys. One to come guy out. up there. What is this? Oh Epic God, dude, Lucas. Oh man, we just really went for it, huh? See if anybody comes down with Yami us. Yami is now an enemy faction. Is there a Yami up there? I no. don't know, but the only problem with this is if word gets out that we're here, it might pop off. Word's gonna get out that we're here, and it's gonna right. pop are off. These, like, that's what we two, have to do. 
Are any of these splash potions? The health is... All right, I'm going in for this cheap kill right now. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He just had to be a sacrifice. I'm sorry. I got oh, my God. You, re you really did just I'm like it. you last uh -huh. time, man. You go. For, you just got to go for the cheap yeah, kills. Yeah, I went for to, some bro. cheap kills, too, you know? Yo, wolves. We're wolves, bro. We got to eat the sheep. Just because it says five kills doesn't mean you need to have a full fight every single time. Okay. It's all about just getting that reward. Yeah, we we really just like these daily challenges have been our grind lately. I'm gonna warp back to spawn real yeah, fast. Yeah, I here. just I'm already doing the same thing. I'm oh, actually, to uh, one thing to say too, the daily challenges actually have a little bit more of a benefit now. Higher donors actually have a multitude of daily challenges that they can pick from to actually oh. win the daily challenge. So like the top tier rank actually gets four every single day. But obviously, if you know, if you complete one, you're done for the whole day. But it gives you more of a diverse option to choose, you know, different stuff that you can do. Uh, you know, if like one of them's like kill five creepers, you're like, nah, I don't want to do that. And another one's, you know, like kill five people with an axe, you're like, yes, that's the one I'm doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that that's a that's a perfect uh, way to do it. I I really now I wish we had more money so that we can start buying our own ranks uh, so that we can get more daily challenges for us because. I actually love, like, completing these daily challenges is, like, one of my favorite things to do. Like, not even an exaggeration. Yeah, I'm hopping down, I'm hopping down, I'm hopping down, hopping down, hopping down, hopping down, hopping down. You gotta wait till people look at you, bro. They've been looking at me, man. They've been looking at me. Look at all them. Yeah. <laughs> look at all he's got. Oh, dude, I'm so terrified. Oh, my God, bro. They saw I'm... me eating those golden apples. They know I'm here. Hold on. I'm, I wish... I'm, I'm looking at the, the faction names right now. Oh, yo, you got someone coming up on behind you. He ran behind you. Heads up. Oh, I, saw, I, I see him. I see him. There. He went out of my render. I kind of want to. I'm going to psych him. I'm going to psych him. I'm running okay. away. I don't think anyone jumped at me. I'm going to go for this guy. Bro, everyone with the diamond gear is just kind of threatening. Oh, I forgot kinda... strength potions. Ooh. Oh, my God, Pete. What were you thinking? I forgot strength potions. Guy, I'm wait, so does sorry. This guy, does this guy have a golden apple? This person. This... Oh, I didn't get freaking healing potions. Or No, I have healing pots, but I didn't get... Oh, God, we got some people. Got you a got pot. Some... Oh, this person's got some pots, bro, too. All right, I'm coming to help you, bro. I you got to help me, man. Just run off. Just, just run oh, straight off, man. I got right healing now. pots going out. Oh, I'm getting attacked right now. Oh, oh, are you? oh my god. Yeah, it's it's getting serious oh, out man. here. I'm on fire. It's actually kind of bad. I don't have a good working scroll wheel. Dude, I might I'm actually be prone. really dead. I got an ender pearl away too. Oh god, I gotta run. I need to go back. No, we need to go back and get strength pots like right now. We need okay, to go back so and get strength pots. Okay, so should I just pots. keep running? Just run, just run. Run away. I'm gonna go back home, get us brewed up some strength pots, and then we'll be good. Okay, let me. I'm gonna turn around real quick and see what, what the right. deal. Oh my god. I got an ender pearl away. Bro, I got pe two people following me, bro. Do you? Yo, it's getting mad serious out here, fam. Well, that wasn't the best pearl. That wasn't the best pearl. Okay. Oh my god, they're under pearl to me. Yeah, oh my dude. God. I'm so sorry. I can't be there. I need to go back and get. I'm gonna go back Pete. to home. Pete, just get the speed pots Pete. and run, dude. I am running. Run away, dude. Pete. I need help. Okay, I, oh I escaped. Oh my god, Pete. Oh fudge, Pete. dude. I'm so sorry. They're... Oh, bro, I'm so fucking dead. This I just... is this is my oh. fault, man. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, this I'm is my dead. fault. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so dead. Let me Dude, eat this don't. apple. No, Hold don't. On. I might be able to redeem it. Hold on. Let me eat this apple. Redeem it. Come no, on, man. Oh, my God. That was so pathetic, bro. Oh, dude. This is... That's all my fault, actually. I'm so sorry. No, it's not your fault at all. That was, like, the most pathetic. No. I... Honestly, I just got overwhelmed by the situation that I was in, and I didn't even think. Like, I, I was just so... I just succumbed. I succumbed. I don't know how it's, what, what tense I need to use that. But, <laughs> oh. bro, there were just so many people following me, and my lack of experience in PvP, like, I just freaked out, bro. I started ender pearling away, but they were ender pearling at me, too. I didn't have any strength pots. It was so just, I was like, it's just the strength pots, man. You need strength, too, to even fight these guys. And that's, it, it's my fault. I take 100% blame to this because I thought, what potions? I even bought them knowing that I needed strength pots. And for some reason, I just didn't brew any up. I felt, oh man, this is well, not my fault. I'm praying to, I'm praying that I didn't get my head out of that. I actually had my head taken from me uh, during that kill we had. You remember that? Yeah, you did. Yeah, they got my head. So. Oh uh, no, that was man, such a careless use... death, uh, guys. I'm ashamed of what just happened because I just that was such a pathetic. No, attempt. you know what, dude? You know what? Cut it back from that. You know what I mean? You died. We're going to go in and redeem you right now. We're going to get some strength props brewed up like ASAP right oh, now. I'm We're not going back. back in. I'm done for the day. I'm getting back into some kids. Then I'm, then I'm going in. <laughs> then I I'm going to, in I, for you, man. I need to practice, dude. That was pathetic. I don't I don't even have anything like... I. I there's no. I have no gear. I, I mean, mean you've got gear. We got a grinder. You can get you enchanted like ASAP. It's going to take you a little bit to recover. You know what I'm saying? 
But for right now, dude, like, I, I gotta go back in and, like, redeem you from that, man. Because I feel so bad. These guys had strength pots who were just breaking me down instantly. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think let's go ahead and take a quick cut. We're gonna come back with something a bit more prepared, get some more PvP action, and we'll see you guys then. Alright, so what's going on, guys? This is uh, just me solo right now. Nate's actually gonna go ahead and end off his episode there, but I want redemption personally. Now, I'm just gonna say it right here. That was very, very poor execution on my part, and I take full blame as to why we died. The thing is, is like, I'm very new to, like, pot PvP, so it just, like, escaped my mind briefly when I'm like... What do I bring? What would be a good thing to actually keep with me? So when all those guys came around and just like ganked us, I was like, no, 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 no. These guys are doing way too much damage. And plus, I'm not going to lie. I've only got Prot 1 Diamond Leggings. The rest of my gear is, for the most part, like, max, but these leggings are kind of like, ugh, they're not all that great, in all honesty. We don't really have any better ones for right now. I might try and get an enchant done really fast here while this is brewing to try and hopefully get maybe up to level uh, 30, so we can try and go for protection something higher, because that's just, like, really bad, in all honesty. I feel bad for Nade, but uh, he's going to go ahead and get rear geared up and just get ready for another episode. You know, these guys are actually, like, they're actually really freaking awesome. I love these guys uh, just like helping us out. I'm gonna steal your experience here. Um, can you can you can you mine this? Um, can you mine for me? Can you can you mine this for me real fast just so I can get a little bit of cheap easy experience? Come on, can you just like mine the mine the redstone for me? The redstone. The redstone. There you go. There's the experience. All right. Thank you. I just wanted that little extra experience right there real fast. Um, but yeah, these guys are actually really freaking awesome. They're, um, they've been apparently doing factions for quite a while. We talked to them a bit off camera. And they seem to be really chill guys. We'll probably wind up uh, bringing them in as allies, like permanent ones, guaranteed. We're doing a little bit more research, like I said, into getting good faction members in. And, like, trying to make sure we find, like, you know, the right people for the job. Because we don't want to, you know, like, find faction members that seem promising, you know, like, truthful and all that. And then all of a sudden, what the frick just broke? That guy's stuff broke? Oh, his pick broke. Uh, and then, you know, all of a sudden they inside us and just bad things happen. So we got to be careful. Let's go ahead and take the pants that I've got right now uh, in here. And let me just go ahead and grab up. Let's put away all of our potion stuff for right now. So we can put away all the brewing material, uh, everything that we really don't need. Iron leggings included. We got strength pots on us for fights. We got health potions like mad. The problem is too, and I don't use this as an excuse, but um, <laughs> I have a scroll wheel on my mouse that's actually kind of broken. So, like, I have to be really sensitive, and sometimes it just straight up doesn't work. Like, it seems like it's working now, but, like, I have to scroll it. Sometimes it just doesn't work properly. So, let's give a quick enchant to our leggings. Hopefully, we can get something good. And uh, we're going to go out and try and get this PvP match done. And... Ugh. Okay, so we're still going to rock with Prop 1 for right now. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. So, let's see. We got Strength Potions out right here. Let's go ahead and get those uh, organized a bit more. And then we got our Health Potions. We just need, like, our full inventory lineup with Health Pots. Uh, there we go. We can just get those and then health pots here here and here and then there and then here here and here We got more strength pots along the top line here I think we're good to fight for a little while. So we're gonna go ahead and hop back out Let me go ahead and uh, eat a golden apple kind of in secret right now I don't know if there's anyone still like out in the pvp wilderness because like nade did die So people actually know that he's there now. Let's go ahead and check. Is there anyone around? I don't think this is actually where we dropped was it? Is this where we dropped? I don't think it was I think it was the other side that we dropped maybe Maybe let's go ahead and find out around here because I still have to get four more kills and I want those kills like right freaking now The only problem is I don't want to get ganked, but that's the thing though We have a lot of money in our faction So really like just spending like 15 minutes off camera can get me rear geared if I re-geared if I need to Let's go ahead and just leap over these guys, right? We got a lot of these people extreme fire legends I don't know what they're doing, but we're just gonna go ahead and drop down here. Oh, like we got team up What does he have in his inventory? Oh, he's got potions. He knows. This guy knows. What's up, man? We got some people down there. They know what they're doing. Uh, let's go ahead. Do we want to drop down and go for that fight? Like, we can. Oh, he's looking at me. He knows. Yep, he, he knows who I... No, actually, I don't know if he's knowing me exactly. We got some other people down here. That guy's going... Let me go ahead and take a look here. This guy's going in and try and kill him. He's running away, though. That's the thing. Like, he's running away. Let me actually... Let's get some drink on. Let's go ahead and get our speed and strength set up. And let's just jump down. We're just gonna go for this, man. Speed, going in. Strength two, got going in. I'm going in. I'm just going in. I'm going in, baby. Like right now, what do you got? Oh, it's M Pure. It's M Pure. Holy fudge. Oh man, I don't know if I want to fight that. We got this naked. Oh fudge. We got so many naked people running around. Like this guy around here. Come on, man. It's that strength. It's that strength. Oh, it's the potions. It's that strength, man. Come on. I'm gonna piece the scene for right now. We got too many people on me. We got way too many people on me. Let me actually pot up real fast. There we go. Come on. 
Get those potions down. We got speed. Oh, he's yeah. It's just Empire, man. Like, for God's sake, it's just Empire every freaking time. Let's get that other Ender Pearl out. Come on. Oh, yeah. He's chasing me down. We both have speed, too. He knows. He knows. All right, come on. Oh, was it? Did the Ender Pearl not throw? The Ender Pearl didn't throw. All right, I'm going to try getting it on top of there. Please, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ugh, I missed again. You need to wait. To wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Home, home. Come on. Oh, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, so I'm still very, like, this is definitely not all that great. <laughs> like, barely got out of there. I have a feeling that getting these five kills is going to be a little more different or difficult than I expected. Protection one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to get a lot more health potions sent up on my inventory. Fudge sake. I want to try going in and like trying to... You know what? I feel like we can go again. I feel like we can definitely go again. Our gear is still not all that great. Let me go ahead and go back to spawn here. Um, see if we can possibly get... <laughs> it's like, where did you go? Let me go ahead and see if I can go back to spawn here. Try and get a couple more cheap and easy kills. Because uh, we got so, still got some people running around here. It's so my speed and strength. Yeah, let's go ahead and drink the speed and strength again. I know it wouldn't be worth it. Oh yeah, we got these people around here. This was the area that I dumped down from. So I don't know if going back to there would be a really good idea. Like this guy, we got the wizards, we got the optic nut. Is it the optic nut? Yeah, the optic nut. Oh, fudge, man. Um, What do we got around? Yeah, this is where I uh, moved. Up. Is that the guy? No, the guy's bayonet. I don't know about bayonets. Hmm. Yeah, he's like, where'd you go, man? Oh, fudge. I don't have any health potions, though, really. I don't know if I should be doing this. Let me see if I can lure. Let's see, what do we got here? Mr. High Definito. That may be a good... He's got his banner on, though. Hmm. Let me see if I can actually just jump down here and see if I can get a quick kill or not. Is this guy gonna come down? Hmm. I really just, like, I don't have health pots now. And I probably shouldn't be doing this because I don't have good enough health pots. Let me just try and go for this Chris guy. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Definito. Hold on. I'm really nervous to get in, like... Oh, no. He's going for me. He's going. He knows. He knows. I didn't get my freaking... Oh. Okay, guy. Okay. All right, cheap kill. He had a lot of stuff on him. Holy fudge. Uh, what do we got? Mr. High Definito going around here. Let's get these swings on. Oh, dude. He's actually got... Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a lot of people now. I think they're going to target me. Hold on. Let me piece this way to see. Yeah, they're targeting me. Okay, for sure. All right, so... Oh, it's Empire again. Fudge sakes. Okay. Uh, see, this is the problem. Is like, I kind of can't really do any... Yeah, see... You guys literally see my pain. You can visibly see my pain here. I, I kind of can't really do anything when we just got a full faction chasing me down. Like, Empire just knows about me. That's the thing. So, like, they know where I am. There we go. Oh, I got it. 500,000 FCMMO. I got the challenge completed. The challenge is completed. I'm going to go and try. I'm going to try doing my Ender Pearl set, uh, strategy on the tree. I'm going to do it on the tree. Okay, tree, come on. Please, please. He's going. He's trying to get me. He's going to try and get me in the water. Oh, no. Ender Pearl land. Oh no! No, I missed! My inner pearl missed. My inner pearl missed. Oh fudge. Oh healing pots, healing pots, healing pots. Oh fudge! Get back in the water, get back in the water, get back in the water. There's nothing I can do right now. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Fudge, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna get outplayed at my own game. I'm not regening either. I'm so dead. Yep. Nope. Ender Oh god. Speed pot. I just need a speed pot. Fudge, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yep. I can't do anything. Like, I can't go in just single-handedly when literally Empire is just, like, hunting me down and targeting me. Fudge. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We got our MCMMO done. That's all we wanted. 500,000 uh, MCMMO XP. That's going to be worth it because what I'm going to do off camera is I'm actually going to go ahead and allocate all of those to... Um, so see what we got here. If we go to Redeem right here, we have skill and amount. I've got about a million experience boarded up away right now i'm gonna get some good axes rolling on so we can actually get some real fights going down and then i'm gonna be down to get back through there because with that whole situation we just didn't have health bots and we didn't have all that good of what we just didn't have that good of gear so we're gonna take some time off camera hopefully by next episode we should have some more gear done uh or some more um stocking up and we should have a faction member here and there and get some allies going in it's gonna be awesome anyways like i said link down below we updated the server a lot of cool stuff especially for donors if you guys want to donate and support the server and uh, apart from that we got our challenge done 500k xp they might have killed us but doesn't really matter uh on fc public you laugh but i got my challenge done
so I win. <laughs> Anyways, take care, guys, and I'll catch you back for the next episode with Nate and I. Ciao!